Hey guys, welcome to the restaurant series. My name is Henrik Din and today I'm at Paru Tea Bar. Come with me and talk with the co-founders inside and learn more about them. Welcome to our show, um, our food series show that we're starting. My name is Henrik Din and I'll be the host for the show. So just to get started, um, could you tell us your name, uh, the name of the business and what you do here? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. um, my name is Amy and I'm one of the families of Paru. I do mostly the like, tea blends and the sourcing of our tea. Perfect. Yeah. Um, my name is Lonnie Gopaleza. I am the co-founder and creative director. So I only do a lot of the behind the scenes work um, and also just telling our story, working with different publications to make sure that it's out there um, and our voice is heard and um, our partners' voices are heard. First, I know we have tea in front of us. Um, so what's your favorite tea blend and uh, do you like to drink your tea hot or cold? I think my favorite tea blend is the Panda and Waffle. It is uh, made with um, sticky rice from Thailand. Uh, green tea, jujube, which kind of gives it like uh, like a sweetness, like Chinese red dates, and a little bit of coconut chips. So it kind of emulates that flavor of um, it's a very like kind of nostalgic like childhood treat. I actually in the beginning I only liked my tea ice, but just being more thoughtful about like hot tea, just as a daily practice, I do enjoy hot tea as well. Mm. I have two favorite teas. One of them is a blend which is coconut chai but it's it reminds me of the holidays and home so um, but i drink it year round it's not caffeinated so i can drink it anytime the other one is sencha it's it's not a blend but it's one that reminds me of japan whenever i feel nostalgic for it whenever you go into a restaurant there chances are you're um, likely going to be served a green tea and chances are it's going to be sencha and so it just kind of brings me back to the memories I had there instantly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I like it hot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start off this question. I know most people might ask this question a lot, mm -hmm. but why is it called Paru? Paru is a pronunciation of pearl in Japanese. We thought it was really fitting because you know tea often is found almost like a hidden gem. It's like a beautiful pearl once you, you know, like find a little bit more about it. And most people kind of drive past us because we're hidden by the trees, but it's also kind of like an oasis too. It's mm -hmm. like, ooh, when I yeah. step, in, step inside power, it's, you know, it's just really relaxing and peaceful. Uh, so when did this business start? Or when did you guys start to get together and want to open up this tea shop? Haru started in 2017. Started out as pop-ups first, attending local holiday markets, um, really with just cold brew teas. And then um, folks who visited, we found out there was a real tea community here. And um, so we, soon after that, we had um, e-commerce and um, just kind of expanded our collection. We uh, started a storefront slowly built it in person and online, mm -hmm. um, really connecting with people. Yeah, like I was like really inspired into like the um, mostly like wellness community too, and then there was uh, kind of like doing like grassroots things of like, you know, nothing big, really a humble, testing out your product and seeing how much like people love it too. And I think it kept us going. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, this was like really fun and let's see where we can pop up next. And right. that also made it really exciting. In terms of this tea shop, um, what sparked the inspiration behind like the design in here, like wanting to do teas, having like a tea showroom or like tea tasting style, like what came about that? Thank you for, for noticing design is just as important to us as a tea to us. Um, I think that we are inspired by our experiences studying and living in Japan where um, we met in Hua. Oh, yeah. We yeah. went in Japan about 11 years ago, um, studying and you can walk into a store in the countryside and there's just a lot of white space and very intentional placements of things and um, and you can walk into a small shop and enjoy a really high quality tea mm. or 
Park Street. It was just so unexpected and we wanted to kind of bring that experience back um, and part of that was the design. Yeah, I think just coming up with the design too, it came naturally, like I felt like having almost like less is more like in a lot of ways and then, you know, tea, if you think about it, it just needs water and then it just needs to leave. <laughs> but the time, temperature, kind of water, like it also plays into the role of like the output of it, but everything's kind of in its place. Mm. That's kind of like the thought. So could you tell us a little bit about like how each tea or where the tea comes from or how you guys like source the tea as well? Yeah, I could probably talk about that all day long. Yeah, I know, I was like, I'll start. We might need to stop. I know. <laughs> I'll stop if uh, that happens. But yeah, we specialize in like mostly like Southeast Asian tea. So mm. I'm Vietnamese. So and in Vietnam, they actually produce like a lot of uh, teas, and they're really great quality teas. Um, same with like in Thailand and in Laos as well. Uh, really, just made some really great friends along along the way, and we support like uh, small tea farmers mm -hmm. uh, that are producing the teas over there, and it's just been it's a really great cultivated relationship. What started about like wanting to focus in on those regions? I come from like a family that is really international, like in a mm -hmm. lot of ways. So my grandpa, he. Um, the business like in Japan. My mom she grew up in Paris after the Vietnam War, so there's like the European influence too. And just yeah, by by race I am like Vietnamese, but then I feel like I have my of course yeah yeah yeah. Can yeah. I have my views like dipped in so many different like cuisines and yeah different cultures that I picked up, and I think that kind of like represents a lot of like, the blends mm -hmm. that that we do here. I think when we do develop blends. Um, it is very intentional and reflective. Uh, my family is from the Philippines. It's not a huge tea producing country. <laughs> One really great thing we could do is we can see ourselves or, or carve a space for ourselves. Like for example, Amy actually developed a blend called coconut chai using um, coconut from the Philippines. So it was like a way to bring in an herbal tea that was reflective of my culture. We can make that space for ourselves and I think that's, that's why I, well, that's why I love it so yeah. much. There's yeah. so many things to experience and, and creating experience is part of that. I think it's really kind of like what we wanted to take part in. Mm -hmm. Have people, uh, people be aware of kind of like, well, we're not changing anything, but we're just kind of bringing it to like a new perspective. You mentioned something about community um, yeah. and, and you mentioned a couple of times too, but um, is there like a vision for a community that you want to serve or just do something for the community? Uh, on one front, it's really about education. Uh, where we consider ourselves tea students for life and we want to kind of share that perspective. When people come in and we do teach them about tea, we want them to go off and maybe see the rest of the world and use tea as a, as a reason to travel. For people like us who are introverts and we really don't consume alcohol that much, we wanted a place to go and just be social. Really quick last um, one, but very important, just as kind of queer um, Asian Americans, I feel like being visible in multiple spaces is so powerful. Um, and just being there for everyone, be, creating an, an inclusive space is what we mean by community. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. And I think places like in Port Loma and La Jolla, it's like us having that presence there as like Asian Americans, I think that was like really powerful for us to be. Uh, it's like, hey, we, we deserve like to be here like as yeah. well. So yeah. I think that was like, uh, a really great. Um, so I'm thankful for you guys being like such great people, um, serving the community, uh, having like fun doing so. Um, I wanted to cheers with the tea yeah, if you don't yeah. mind. Um, like hot. It. So this is a roasted oolong? Yeah, roasted blend. oolong. So it's kind of just like a nice little... Alright, well, here's to tea cheers. and per <laughs> Peru. Yeah. Per I was going to say pearl. <laughs> hey, it's a pearl tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers. You, cheers. Yeah, of course. That wraps up our interview. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you for, for being yeah, so awesome. Of course. No, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>